Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. It has been, I think it's been close to a year. Maybe not quite a year, but it's been a long time since I have been on here, since I have recorded a video. I've had a lot going on, um, still have a lot going on, but it's getting better. But yeah, without further ado, this is my Sims 3 current household. This is our little house here. We are living in Sunset Valley. Um, we're at the house like right next to the stadium, which is great because one of my adult Sims is an athlete and like the commute to work is like literally two seconds. So that's great. And yeah, this is Sunset Valley. I have a lighting mod. I will link that down below, but it's just so pretty. I love this game so much. Um, I don't know what this right here on the side of the garage is. I downloaded this house. I did not build it. Okay. This is like their second or third house I've moved them to because we started out, you know, from the bottom and now we're here. So here we are. Here is their house. I'll show you guys the backyard. I desperately need a new mouse. Like my middle mouse button half the time doesn't even work. I don't know if it's the, this game or my mouse, but... I need to buy a new one. Oh no! Are my plants dying? How are my plants dying? What did I... Okay, we need to do some gardening, but... Yeah, this is the backyard. A cute little playground area. A little garden here. I always have my sims. Like, one of my sims in my household always has to be a gardener. Because I need the death flower. I am so attached to my sims, everyone has to have death flower. And this is their little like patio area, telescope, like all this stuff came with the house and it was amazing because I didn't have to do any work. Um, oh, it's been a couple weeks since I've actually played this game, but um, it looks like our girl is pregnant again. Um, for some reason I have Risky Woohoo on and every time I've done it, she's gotten pregnant from it, so... I don't know, the settings on that must be screwed up or something. But here is our sim. What's her name again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't come for me. It's been like, it's been a hectic last week. Okay, I forgot everything. But yes, here is our sim that we started with. Her name is April Valentine. I started this save around Valentine's Day. So I thought that was the perfect last name. And it's like kind of a more unique last name. It's fun and this is the legacy challenge so the last name is going to it's got to be something that I like you know because it's gonna be here for 10 generations or more um but yes this is April Valentine I made her with sliders which is the first time I really made a sim with sliders so I don't know the bottom of her face might have come out kind of weird but I don't know I think she's beautiful and yeah this is April Valentine and she is family oriented, a natural cook, a hopeless romantic, charismatic, and a green thumb. Like all the perfect traits. I'm sorry, I just, I have to have a perfect sim. That's just me. But her favorite color is pink, obviously. She loves pancakes and classical music. She has 387 days until she's an adult. I play on the longest lifespan because again, I get attached to my sims. No one is dying in my game no one um but yeah she is pregnant again i'm hoping for a girl because as you can see right now we have two boys at the moment and yeah she just keeps getting um wants to have children so i just keep making it happen probably because her lifetime wish is surrounded by family which is raised five kids oh i should probably introduce you to her husband first is he home Yes, he is. He's in the shower. Okay, um, probably not the best time to show you him. It's been a minute, y'all. It's been a year. Give me... Well, it's been over a year since I've, like, actually, actually played this game. Um, oh my god, why does it keep zooming into his crotch? Hello? Oh my god, someone please help me. <laughs> Teach me how to use this camera. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay. Does anyone recognize this sim? He is a Sunset Valley townie. Any guesses? That's right. This is Marty Keaton. I broke up a marriage. I broke up a family. He has a son. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure on the relationships, like he has no relationship at all with his son. Sorry, not sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I stole Marty from Justine because he deserved better. <laughs> 
not that Justine is a bad person, but like, I just wanted to marry Marty. So I did <laughs> because of the Sims and you, we can do whatever we want. Um, but yeah, we married Marty Keaton, gave him a little makeover and here he is. Um, if you don't know, his traits are neurotic, loves the outdoors, a great kisser, athletic and friendly. I don't think I changed any of these. Uh, his favorite color is yellow, uh, fish and chips is his favorite food and he likes indie music. And he has 286 days. I can't see. I need new glasses. But <laughs> yeah, if you see the family tree here, he has a son named Reginald. First of all, why Reginald? <laughs> like, it just seems like old names for like kids. It, it, it just seems weird. I don't know about you, but it just seems weird. Um, but yeah, this is his son, a heavy sleeper, never nude and clumsy, so he's kind of got all bad traits. I don't know if heavy sleeper is considered a good or bad trait, but yeah, that's his son, and he has two other sons, and what is this? Justine. Yeah, I have, I'm surprised she hasn't found, like, a new husband or anything, because I do have, um, what is it called? Story progression on. So yeah, she's just a single mother right now, um sorry <laughs> kind of just completely ruined her life but that's fine <laughs> and let's see here yeah his son is like and justine are at the very bottom of his relationship panel um where is she on ours i think she's also an enemy because every time i see her i go and insult her <laughs> um yeah very old enemies oh old enemies we need to rekindle that hatred for each other hmm we might need to do some hunting, hunt down Justine and yell at her some more. Uh, but yeah, that's Marty. Uh, just Sunset Valley Towny. I didn't want to like create a new... I don't like creating Sims specifically for my other Sims to like date and marry. I don't know. I just don't like that. I like using already made Sims in the game. It just feels more natural, I guess. I don't know. I just like it better. Let me know. Oh, what is that flag spike? What is going on? Yes, this was our first son. His name is Leo Valentine. I love his little shirt. It's so cute. Um, but yes, this is their first son, Leo Valentine. And what are his traits? He is a genius and a bookworm. I think I want him to become like a writer, an author. And yeah, I think that's the path I want him to go down. His favorite color is white. He loves goopy carbonara. And his favorite music is country. Okay. Oh, I haven't been saying their um, zodiac signs. He's a Capricorn. And yeah, this is Leo. And then we had our... Actually, he's aging up. Is he aging up today? Oh, <gasps> It might be his birthday. We're going to have our first child of the game. So exciting. Probably isn't the most flattering angle of him, but <laughs> this is Justin Valentine. I don't know what he's pointing at, but yes, this is our second child. Another boy. This playthrough is reminding me the very first playthrough I ever had of The Sims 3. I remember this so well. I took screenshots and everything is probably why. We had five or six boys in a row. Never had a girl. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking this might be how this game is going to go, which I'd honestly be fine with because it just brings back so much nostalgia. <laughs> I was so mad we never got a girl, but whatever. Uh, anyway, this is Justin Valentine. He came out with blonde hair, so I just went with it. Um, just whatever hair color they're born with, I kind of just roll with it, even though like none of his family members have blonde hair. Um, but whatever. And his traits are star quality and charismatic. I think I want him to go into like the singing career um, because I don't think I've ever had a sim do that before. Yeah, his favorite color is purple. He loves grilled salmon and his favorite music is songwriter. And he is a Pisces. Okay, so I fixed the issue with the lagging. It was because I didn't have my laptop plugged in to charge. Um, I don't like... I made another outfit for her. Because this, like, her, it's not pregnancy compatible, apparently. Because what is this? But it won't, like, change into it. Leo. 
What on earth? What is this outfit? I did not create this. Hold up. I did not create this outfit, girl. What are you wearing? <laughs> okay, anyway. There's a lot going on. You have your own toilet in your own room. Why? <laughs> We're just gonna let it happen. Uh, just in time. Harvest, harvest 15 very nice or better fruits and vegetables and deliver harvest. No, I never do any of this stuff, but I recently found out if you actually do some of them, like you can unlock other stuff and I don't know. It just seems like too much work for nothing. Oh yeah, we need to garden. Okay, hold up, hold up. Garden, garden, garden before everything dies. Um, Maybe, I kind of want her to have the baby in this um, video, but... I don't know, I think she's like just barely pregnant, so. Um, I cannot stay in this outfit. Please change into anything else. Yes. Okay. Um. I think that's worse. <laughs> I think that is worse. Just do formal wear. It looks the nicest. There we go. That's Leo's birthday. <gasps> Should we have Leo age up on camera in this current household oh, episode i think no we you. should i think we should is it um what this boy is glitched i'm sorry but what that's nasty that is just nasty why can't you be normal like justin and not sit in your own toilet. Oh, darn See? And that's why he gets the attention. Oh, See what he's done with me. Oh. Oh, it brings you. Oh. <laughs> okay, with blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Due to your excellent parenting skills, you may now choose a trait for Leo. Ooh, what trait should we give him? Okay, so he wants to be a writer. So he's already a genius and a bookworm. What else should we give him? A perfectionist. There we go. Perfect. And here is Leo in his raincoat. Alright, so we're obviously gonna give him a little makeover, but is he cross-eyed? Okay, I, th I think he was cross-eyed for a second there. Look at how big that cake is compared to him. Look how giant that piece of cake is. That's like an entire cake. Dang. Got me craving cake Indeed. now. <laughs> I hear Justin crying upstairs, but hmm. that's okay. He can wait. We gotta eat our cake. Theo is finally a child now. He starts school and everything. This is so exciting. Not having played this game, like hmm. actually sat down and played a family in years. This this is so ah, i love it so much uh yeah i cannot wait to continue this family and see how many generations we can get through it's very exciting let me know if you guys would like to see more updates on this current household or if you would like me to start like a new sims 3 legacy challenge or just a let's play here on youtube but it's a horse i thought i turned off horses and stuff but they still run through my property like 10 times a day so that's fun but yeah, I think I'm going to end this current household here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video.